Excellent. So yeah, um, so he's he's with uh, Basque Vault, and uh, they uh, you know they have plans to mass manufacture solid state batteries, and we look forward to your presentation. So the stage is yours for the next uh, eighteen to twenty minutes. Good luck. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to be with all of you guys here. So uh, I will, I will talk about not just the technologies on solid state batteries, but by, why they are needed. What is the contribution is the industry is expecting from them, and, and society in general? How, how these uh, new technologies that are pushing the boundaries of, of uh, what we know about batteries today will help to accelerate the electrification to, of, of our society. So quickly about myself, so Francisco, and as, as you said before, so I'm, I'm originally from Spain, uh, but I've been working abroad most of my, my career. Uh, I'm a car guy. I've been more than 20 years in, in the car industry. The last uh, 15 years working on uh, electrification, on batteries and charges and V2G and second life batteries and plenty of other things that in general are required for the whole ecosystem uh, to move towards the, the, the electrification the electrification challenge. About a, about a year ago, I co-founded this company, Basketball, so here in, in the north of Spain, in Basque Country. And uh, our goal is to, uh, to bring to the market a, a new uh, semi-solid and solid-state battery technology that is answering the need of the market in, in terms of uh, competitiveness and, and price and uh, making the overall process much more simple, much more scalable than what we have today. Uh, so uh, we we do both. So we are manufacturing our own cells, but we are also supplier of uh, the polymer-based electrolyte to uh, to different different customers. So uh, the company was start, started basically last June, and we're growing as much as we can uh, to, uh, to face all the challenges we, we have. So our prototype line will be ready this year. Our pro pilot production line will be ready by 2025. And uh, from 2027, we can start our own in-house production for, for battery cells. So as I said before, <clears throat> our technology is based on polymer electrolytes. So uh, the, the, base, the base ground of our work is, uh, is the, the, research, the research that has been done by Professor Michel Armand and his team here in the north of Spain for the last decade. And uh, as uh, you guys might know, uh, Michel has been uh, dedicating his entire career mostly oh, to the polymers and uh, lithium metal and solid state batteries. He's one of the, the fathers of the, the modern, uh, modern batteries. And we, we are very lucky to have uh, him and his team uh, backing the, the fundamental research of the materials that we are using for, for our, our batteries. Now, I think there is something that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I, I find that it's, it's not properly explained and not properly uh, shown to the general public uh, in, uh, in general. Yes, I mean, electrification is, is growing uh, like crazy. So we see uh, huge numbers, somehow heterogeneous. Not all, every country is, is adopting this technology as, as fast as any others, but last year, we, we reach a key milestone, so 30% of the global market share uh, were uh, vehicles with a, with a lithium battery in, inside. And uh, the projections are, are showing a, a massive adoption, especially in China and now in the US, thanks to the, the IRA. Uh, we are all pretty enthusiastic and excited to see that the market is, is, is growing fast. Huh? We hope is that we are reaching the 40 million uh, cars uh, by um, by the end of the decade globally, and the 40% market share, uh, which is uh, is a tremendous progression for for this industry. So you might have seen plenty of, of graphs like this one here uh, in in our right by all the key consulting firms and uh, international energy agency and everybody showing how big the market could be. Right. So from where we are now uh, to where we could be by the end of the decade. Uh, something that is very important that the questions we ask ourselves is uh, how realistic is this, right? So is this really going to happen? What are the conditions that need to be there for the market to go that fast, right? So is, is with the batteries we have now in our hands that we can